So we went to go check the field this morning, come up with a game plan, and two guys that we ran into from Michigan, it's always Michigan or Wisconsin, are right where we want to be. We parked there. I don't know what that means. I'm not happy about it. As soon as you find something good, it seems like somebody else is on top of you. So We're going to run to a store about an hour away, get ourselves a blind, and hopefully make the setup still work. I don't I don't know where they are. God knows what they're tearing up. I don't know. Not too happy at the moment. Well we stopped and went into a sporting goods store. Normally get the stuff from Sportsman's Guide, but obviously they couldn't help us last second. This was like a last second decision so we had to go to a, get a get a blind from a sports sporting goods store and then um, got some burlap try and blend us into that corn a little bit better in or maybe mile, turn us right into maybe turn us into a hay bale blind. I don't know. We're going to see what we're going to do here. There's no sense in pouting over those guys being out there like I was. Um, there ain't nothing we can do about it. Cameraman Josh shaking his head. Yeah, y'all was pouting. I was mad. That stuff bothers me. I shouldn't let it, but it did and it does and it's over now and now we're just going to go in there and kill that buck and be done with it. Plain and simple. Time is now, folks. I'm a little nervous. I'm a lot of nervous. There's a lot of riding on this. It'd be different if we knew this deer was in there, not tampered with. We don't know what those guys were doing in there this morning. We don't know if they're playing the wind. I'm not trying to put everybody in one basket, but these guys are from Michigan, and I don't know. I've hunted in Michigan and Michigan. You just don't know what you can get with people. There's really good hunters, but you, sometimes it's not. That's anywhere. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just nervous. I'm thinking a lot, and uh, we got that hay bale blind, a redneck, our redneck version of a hay bale blind set up. We got a dynamite set up. And if he does what he did last night, he's dead. There's a lot riding on this, so it's public land for you. A couple hours and we'll, uh, we'll see what happens.
wood line back. I gotta walk the one way around. Pretty deer, man. Very pretty deer. Guys, well, as you can see, we had them at about, I don't know, 100 yards, and uh, the doe didn't like the blind. We thought we did a good job with the burlap, but not good enough, and now they just kept their distance. Now we gotta go stealth mode, get out of here, figure out a plan. I don't want to hunt them in the morning, but there's other guys that are hunting in here, so I want to deflect them if at all possible. But otherwise, we're gonna go sit in the corn, probably with a homemade blind, and leave this here. I think it'll deter them away from here and put them where we want them. So, we'll try to manipulate them. But that's it for tonight, I guess. I think now's when we should get out of here. Just because they're, they're very, like, occupied right now.
shit. He's right here. He's coming. I can't hear you. Yeah. I lost him. Do you see him? Josh, do you see him? I can't see him. Well, that was an interesting sit. The the uh, like the goal of this trip was to yeah kill a deer, but I was like, Josh, we're just gonna try and stay positive because when you go on these trips, crazy crap, crap, crazy shit happens. And uh, 6:30, 6:40, as you can see, this dude just rolls in chopping hay, and I was like, dude, like what? Like of course, you know, just typical. He went out the field. I think he finally figured out like we we're hunting there. Saw a truck or whatever, maybe. And uh, he started scooting out, and he wasn't even gone. And the deer started running out. Like, some of those deer started running out. But every deer except for him came out. And I was like, somebody killed him. Like, trying to stay positive, but I was like, mm, why? He came out every other day with him. And as you can see, last light, I went to go sneak out and, like, get over this knoll to see if they were down in this hay field. Maybe snuck out. Well, all of a sudden he came out, and I was, like, standing on the edge. And I was like, ooh, get back in. And just never closed the distance. Every other deer did though. Every other deer would have been shot. So we're just gonna go do it again tomorrow and we're gonna get them. Feeling, feeling positive. How about that? So we'll see.